So the primitive data type for C sharp we have here the by is by short so this one that have a u here that we have a u it means on sign then we have integer on sign integer long low flow double decimal chart bool boolean object string data type and um, and here we have the range from where to where we can save values on that type of variable so you know that one by is a bit so this one is one by one by two bytes two by four bytes and we can see here integer and long long have more bits than integer and you can see the range of number we can assign when we have the definition of unsign we can see that we can have double of the values because we don't have the negative part anymore you can see here the difference and also here the difference so if we move to the code we move to the syntax or c sharp we first have the type data type then we have the name the name of the variable then we have the equal sign and then we have the value we want to save in that specific variable so remember always is that type name equal value <coughs> so here i show you how to define these variables for each of the type and here we also show you some specific things that you have to be careful in C sharp sometimes with flow you have to specify is a flow with this F at the end of the number sometimes when you're using a variable that is not the same type for example this one we have an unsigned integer that we are assigning an integer so this is integer and we are assigning the integer to an unsigned integer so to do this conversion you need to put this before the operation so this is indicating the compiler that this integer variable will be saved on an integer value here on the right we have the result of all this printing each by one so you can see here the values so let's see this example integer and here we have the integer and on sign you can see that we can store as double but this is what i show you but let's practice now let's do it ourselves so let's go to visual studio So here you can see here we have the type of variables here we have this console line to print the values here we have the declaration of the variable so what I wanted to show is this for example if we have this integer is two 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 three four this long number and we go back here we know that the integer maximum value is this one so let's try to type this one. Two one four seven four eight three four eight three six forty seven. Let's print this the console line. So we he see here we have the integer is 21470. Assume, and I increase this value. We have this Visual Studio that is telling us already that this is an error. Cannot implicitly convert type on sign to int. So you see the value is bigger 
than the one that is supported because it's a sign integer so it's not supposed to work like this and that's why we have on sign so it depends of your application if you need more numbers that gonna be always positive you can use on sign integers okay this one is a specific enum type i will explain this later on on the videos because this is very important and very useful you have and you can create your own variable type with classes or with enums and then you can assign the values you want so yeah try try to write the code like this i will show you how to do this one by one uh, the code is available you can download it and practice change the values with following these to change the negatives to put it bigger than so yeah that's for c sharp let's continue with another type in 